time. These exploded views can be used in your drawing sheets or just to show multiple configurations of an assembly. So the first thing to do is go into your assembly tab along the top of, uh, top ribbons, ribbons here. And at the moment, you can see that we're just in the default configuration and we haven't got any more configurations. So the first thing to do is click the add button and we want to add a configuration. You can rename these whatever you want. So just be aware you can type in a new name and uh, this will appear here. So at the moment, we've got two configurations, default and configuration one. In the default configuration, you will notice you can't create any exploded views. But as soon as I go to configuration one, we can uh, create exploded views. If you have any assembly conditions created in your default configuration and you want to use those in the um, new configuration, you can click this little padlock tool and that will create the uh, transfer the assembly conditions over to this configuration. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually create an exploded view. So I'm firstly going to use the exploded tool and I'm going to click on the part and we're going to choose a direction. So first of all, Space Lane wants to choose a direction to explode. So you can choose a face, an edge, but I'm going to choose the Z key. So this straight away um, gives us a preview of the, of the um, exploded view. So we can see what it's going to look like. We can look to the left hand side and we can see we've got a spacing bar or we can choose to space it using this tool here. I like to use it using the spacing bar and we can space that and change the preview. Um, if you look into my tree, we can see that we've only got the one level of, of explosions. So we've only got that component, this component, so we've only got four components exploding. This is actually a sub-assembly, so if you want to go up a level into those sub-assemblies, I can type two, and now we can see there's a lot more components being exploded. So just be aware of that. Um, once you're happy with it, you can hit the tick box and we can now see the exploded view. A couple of these parts have actually got trace lines added to them, which I did previously. Um, and I'll show you how to add a trace line in the next step. So the limitation of using the explode tool is that it only does explode in one direction. If you wish to actually manually move the parts or explode in multiple directions, it's best to use the move tool. So I'm gonna create another configuration and this time use the move tool rather than the explode tool. So I'm just going to just move a couple of these components. So I'm going to move this one to here and this one to here. I'm just going to move this one in this direction. So um, just to show you how to create these um, trace lines, I'm going to delete that one. We can create a trace line using this tool here. You first click a first reference point. I'm going to click this uh, face here. Then I'm going to click a second reference point. I might click this face here. And then as a preview, hit the tick box and that will create your trace line. So that's how you create those. So now if I want to use any of these views in a drawing sheet, I first need to go to file and create a drawing sheet, or you may already have one created. Um, I'm going to scale these up. They're quite small. So I can change any of these views that are already created to any of those different configurations. Um, in my instance, I'm just going to just delete these views and just create a default uh, general view. So I'm going to click the general tool and just add a general view. So if I want to change this default configuration to one of my exploded views, I'll go to the assembly tab. And at the moment, you can see this is all grayed out but because first you need to select the view. So click on the view. We can now see this doesn't become grayed out and we can change this to any configuration we choose. So I'm going to choose the configuration two, And we can see that that view has now changed to configuration two. Um, now that it's, it's exploded, we could do something like create a bill of materials. I'm just going to create top level so we can see a bill of materials and we could also balloon the parts by item number, part number and we can auto balloon it just by clicking on the view. So we can now see which part is which and we've ballooned it. 
Hopefully that video helps. And if anyone's got any questions, please feel free to drop us an email.